many people may not be aware exactly of what your service does. So I think it's important to, first of all, provide a little bit of education on that. Wonderful. Well, Muskoka Victim Services is a not-for-profit uh, charitable organization that uh, we are primarily run by volunteers who are volunteer crisis responders in the community. We as a service provide 24-7 crisis intervention support, which is emotional and practical support to victims of crime or tragic circumstance. And so the emotional support can look at like from sitting with someone in the immediate aftermath of the tragedy and talking them through what they're what they're experiencing emotionally. And the practical support side of things can be helping someone uh, find alternative accommodations or helping them obtain medications if they, if they can't access it from their home. Um, there's a variety of things uh, that we can support with. How often, Eva, would you say that, um, you know, that, that services like police in Muskoka are relying on Muskoka Victim Services? Well, in terms of uh, relied upon, we are 24-7. So the police expect, first responders expect that if they're going to call our crisis line, they're going to reach a, a team leader on duty. And so we are responsive 24-7, 365 days a year. And uh, how often we get used, well, crisis is not predictable. And, but I can tell you that at this present time, we do receive new calls daily and be it from first responders or from self-referrals. Sometimes people don't, are not ready to speak to police um, and don't know where to turn or what to expect. So they'll call us first to see what they can learn about what their options are as well and get support along the way. Let's talk about your volunteer base because that's kind of what we're here to talk about. We'll, we'll get into the sort of uh, ins and outs of that in a moment, but I, I first of all want to talk about how many volunteers you do have currently. Uh, what does that look like so far? Well, we're currently sitting at 33 volunteers and uh, something to note is our staff also volunteer outside of the work hours as well. So that that's including our small staff complement. And normally we, we tend to sit between 50 and 60 volunteers um, to help with the 24 seven coverage. However, the pandemic has taken a hit on uh, in terms of volunteer recruitment and retention. And we completely respect where people are not comfortable going back to face-to-face -face service delivery. And maybe sometimes we do go into hospitals, sometimes we'll go right on scene. Um, sometimes we're sitting in someone's living room. So it, it's, it's a personal comfort level as well. So the pandemic has um, hit us uh, in terms of volunteer retention. And we are really desperately looking for new volunteers to fill the volunteer crisis responder role. And that gets to what we want to talk about is, is that need for volunteers. And um, so first of all, on that subject, let's talk about what it means to be a volunteer with Muskoka Victim Services. So as mentioned, so we have a 24 hour, uh, we're, we serve 24 hours a day and we have two shifts in the day. So we have our day shift, which runs 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and our evening shift, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And volunteer crisis responders are required to sign up for th only three shifts per, three 12 hour shifts per month. And they get to pick their shifts. We don't dictate the shifts. Um, and what it looks like is, so during their, their 12 hour period, they're on call. And if the team leader receives a uh, request for for dispatch they will get they will get the call to a specific location to provide emotional or practical support uh, a volunteer never goes alone we always send uh, a, a, t a team member so they always go in groups of two and to give you an idea of what a what a team can look like is there's different layers to a crisis call we have a staff lead that is always on call to support in, in the over, overseeing the crisis call. We have the team leader who is managing the team and we have the two crisis responders that are the boots on the ground providing the support. So that's that's in, in a nutshell what it looks like. And I know there's more layers to that and, and those are yeah. things I'm sure that, you know, will kind of be discussed when volunteers sign up. But let's talk about, you know, how this works. You know, I know there's training involved as well. What does that look like, Eva? So when, when a volunteer, uh, when, when someone expresses interest in becoming a volunteer, they will first meet with our volunteer coordinator, Annie, who will um, 
so it's a two-fold conversation. One is Annie gets an opportunity to get to know uh, the potential volunteer a little bit more and also um, answer any questions in terms of what, what the role looks like, what the expectations are, and give uh, people a sense of reality as to what they may be exposed to because we, we are dealing with traumatic situations. So there's the first part of, of the uh, orientation. And if a person is still interested in continuing, uh, they get signed on and there is approximately 40 hours of online theoretical training to be completed. Uh, they must also pass a vulnerable sector check through the OPP. And there is also a practical training component where it's in class and it's about uh, five, six hours where they get they learn the ins and outs of what a crisis call looks like and uh, they get their equipment and uh, their final orientation before they go on a call. Eva, if you can give me one sentence as to why people should volunteer with Muskoka Victim Services, what would it be? The main thing that we hear from our volunteers is they want to give back to the community. Each one of our, oh, that's, sorry, more than one sentence, but each of our, each of our volunteers has their own story and sometimes they have a skill set that they want to contribute in, and others have received the service and want to give back. 